simplifying rational expressions. Well, you'll be thinking, what is a rational expression, first of all? Well, it's an expression that is a ratio of two polynomials. So, for example, um, you have x squared plus 5 and x plus 2. OK, you have the numerator and the denominator and it's a ratio. So ratio means a relationship between something and to work out the relationship between two things in maths, we normally divide. That's where the divide sign comes in and that's where the ratio is coming in. Um, and it's just like a fraction with polynomials. Well, you'd be thinking, well, what is a polynomial? So a polynomial comes from the word poly, which means many, and nomial means terms. So it means many terms. So for example, I mean, you could have anything. You could have something like 4x squared y plus 7x minus 10. OK, that is a polynomial. It comes with many different terms. OK, um, and that is what a polynomial is. And we're just going to simplify um, a rational expression, um, which is also known as an algebraic expression. So let's um, let's do that then, shall we? Let's have a look at simplifying then. Um, let's have a look. We're going to start off nice and easy first and then make it quite tricky. You might have something like 12a over 3. Right, so that is pretty simple and straightforward. OK, we, we're going to start off base, quite basic, and then we're going to move on to the difficult ones. Well, this one has a bit of a background. How would you work this out? Well, you would just divide the numbers, wouldn't you? 12 divided by 3 is 4a. Likewise, if you have 20b over 5b, well, divide the numbers, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Well, B divided by B is 1, so 4 times 1, which is just 4. You might have something like 27 um, D squared over D, uh, over, should we say, 90, yeah. So divide the numbers, 27 divided by 9 is 3. D squared divided by D. It's just 1d, d to the power of 1, or just d. You might have something like 18ac squared over 2c. 18 divided by 2 is 9. There's no a to divide by here, so a stays the same. c squared divided by c is just 1c. Then you might have something very crazy, um, like 49 c d squared e cubed all over 7 um, c squared um, and e squared okay actually we'll make that d squared divide the numbers 49 divided by 7 is 7 no c to divide by but d squared divided by d squared goes and e cube divided by e squared is just e. So nice, simple and straightforward. Most of these examples here are to do with power. So if you have a good knowledge of indices or laws of indices, it quite helps because you're just dividing the powers, aren't you? Um, however, it does get slightly more complicated when you have different situations, when you, it's not quite simple and straightforward as that, especially when you end up having things like this. You might have something like um, 6x squared plus 9x over 4x plus 6. Now, look at the difference between the ones that we did at the start. It's a bit of a background check to the one now. We have a bit of a problem because the ones at the top were all timesing at the top. Yeah, so 12a means 12 times a. The one below that, 20b and 5b, have a relationship of times between them. That means 20 times b and 5 times b. 27d squared is 27 times d squared. Below one is 9 times d. 18ac squared is 18 times a times c squared. And the bottom one is 2 times c. So we can cancel like that, OK? And we can divide because the relationship is times. What you have to remember in maths is that to be able to cancel something down, especially when it's got algebra in, even without algebra, 
you have to be able to have a timesing relationship. We have a problem here because my relationship here between the 6x squared and the 9x is not times. It's an add relationship. And the 4x add 6 also has an add relationship. So that creates a bit of a problem for us. So what we have to do is we have to do something to this. So it changes our, um, you know, our the relationship between the letters and the numbers so we can simplify. And to do this, the most golden word, factorise. And that's what we need. We need to factorise. So factorise the top. So what can I take out from that? Well, they both have an X. And I can take out an X out. Just one X because that one's got two and that's got one. So the highest number of X I can take out is one. Is there a number that goes into six and nine? There is. And we always have to look for the highest number. Highest number is going to be three. OK, so now I've got... Inside the bracket, I should have 2x plus 3. And I'm going to factorise the bottom one. They both don't have an x, so I can't take an x out. But there is a number that goes into 4 and 6, and the highest number is 2. So I'm going to have x plus 3. OK. Um, oh, I've got something missing there, haven't I? Uh, inside the bracket needs to go 2x. Now, what you'll notice is now that the top has changed into a times in relationship. That means 3x times 2x plus 3 and 2 times 2x plus 3. And because it's a times in relationship now, I can cancel things which are the same. So 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3 can cancel. I can get rid of that because 2x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 3 is just 1. And I'm left with 3x over 2. I can't divide the numbers anymore. Three divided by two would give me a decimal, and we're not interested in decimals. It has to be a whole number. And I can't cancel an X out because there's no X, and that is your answer. Let's have a look at another example like that. Okay. 4N minus 12 over N squared minus 3N. Okay, so factorising. The golden word is to factorise. The 4 and minus 12 both don't have an n, so I can't take an n out. But there is a number that goes into 4 and 12, and the highest number that goes into 4 and 12 is 4, isn't it? And inside the bracket is n minus 3. They've both got an n. No numbers, so I can't take that out. And inside the bracket goes n minus 3. Okay. Now we've got the same, and it's a times relationship. Cancel, 4 over n. Can't do anything with that, so it stays. So the trick is to keep factorising. Let's have a look at a few examples, because each example will be slightly different from the other one. 4p add 8q. And you could be doing this with me if you want. You can pause the video at any time, and you could be practising this and then coming back to check your answer. So. They both don't have a P or a Q at the top. They're different letters, so I can't take a letter out. But the highest number that goes into 4 and 8 is 4. So I've got P plus 2Q inside the bracket. The bottom one, they both have a P, and I can only take one P out because one's got two Ps and one's only got one. No numbers, so I'm going to have P plus 2Q. And you can see that I've got the same bracket, so that cancels. I'm left with 4 over p and it's just as simple as that shall we have a look at a few other examples then when they get slightly difficult or slightly trickier let's have a look at a few more ones of this sort of style and then we'll change it up 6m n minus 12 n squared um, over 8m squared take away 6m n Okay, well, numbers first. What's the highest number goes into 16 and 12? It's 4. Both have an n. Don't take out 1n. Inside the bracket goes 4m. Take away 3n. Okay, highest number is 2 that goes into it. Take out an m. Inside goes 4 times 2 is 8. 8, 4m, take away... 3n. Cancel, cancel, and I'm left with 
4n over 2m. In this situation, we could cancel this further because I can cancel the numbers. I can simplify. It's like a fraction, isn't it? So you would think about how would you how would you simplify the fraction 4 over 2? Well, you divide both of them by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2n. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. I can write 1m. It's a bit silly, though. So 2n over just m. We don't really write to write down the number 1, do we, in front of a, a letter in maths. So that was where you've got a bit of a two-step. But what if you had something like this? Okay, so let's have a look. I can't take a number out, but I can take a letter out, so I can take C. Inside goes 3, take away C over C squared. Now, that's a bit different from what we've been doing because there's no bracket here that I can cancel. You don't always have to have a bracket that will cancel things out for you. You might not have that situation. Um, in this situation, I can just cancel a C there and a C there. And I'm just left with 3 minus C at the top and 1 C at the bottom. Again, I can cancel because I've got times in relationships. Here, it's C times 3 minus C. And C squared is actually C times C. Therefore, that is why I could cancel that out. You might also have something very similar to this, which might be 4B squared over 2AB minus 8B squared. It looks quite tricky and quite difficult especially with all the powers and the numbers and adding and the subtracting inside but it's not too bad once you start to factorize and break it down can't factorize the top so I'm going to leave it as it is but I can factorize the bottom highest number that goes in 2 and 8 is 2 what can I take out I can take out a b as well I'm left with a here take away 4b can't simplify any or cross off any brackets so I can simplify these two OK, because the 4B squared and the 2B, because that there is a times in relationship and that there is times. So I can divide the 4 and the 2 by 2. So I've got 2B squared over B, A minus 4B. And then I can cancel a B out, 2B over A minus 4B. And there you are. Sometimes it takes a lot of uh, practice and a lot of factorising. You might also have situations where it changes quite dramatically to something like this. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem. It's completely different to the questions that we've been doing and completely different to the ones at the start. And you can see there are lots of different stages of simplifying rational expressions. This one here, you have got like a quadratic equation now, and then you've got a, a you know, an algebraic expression at the bottom. So again, factorize, but the top is now going to factorize into two brackets. X and X, two numbers times to make six and add to make five. Um, three and two. Yeah. And factorise the bottom one as well. I could take out a 3x plus 3. And everything is times x plus 3. And the brackets in maths obviously mean times. So it means x plus 3 times x plus 2. And the bottom one is 3 times x plus 3. So cancel the brackets because x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is just 1. I'm left with x plus 2 over 3. I can't simplify anything here uh, because there's no times in relationship left. That there is just x plus 2 at the top and the bottom one is 3. There's nothing to do with timesing. Therefore, it's going to have to stay as it is. Let's have a look at something similar like that. Um, let's do x squared plus 7x plus 12 over 2x squared plus 8x. Again, simplify the expression. So x and x, two numbers times to make 12, add to make 7. Think of that straight away, three and four. Okay, so the bottom one I can simplify again to a single bracket. It's 2x I can take out, x plus four. And you can see straight away that I can cancel the x plus fours out. So I'm left with x plus three at the top and 2x at the bottom. The top is an adding relationship and the bottom is a times. Because I don't have a timesing relationship at the top, therefore I can't cancel with the bottom. Um, 
don't make the mistake of cancelling the x's like this and putting three over two that is incorrect okay it has to be a times in relationship the x plus three are together they're joined together think of it as like a marriage husband and wife you can't split them up if it's add or subtract you can only kind of cancel if it's a, a multiplication oh look at something else a few other ones Okay, so top is not double, it's single. So 3x I can take out and x plus 4. The bottom. Okay, two numbers times to make 4, add to make 5, 4 and 1. And cancel and cancel. 3x and x plus 1. Again, top is times relationship, bottom is not, therefore cannot cancel. What if we had something like this? Okay. X squared minus 9 over X squared minus 8X plus 15 quite a high level skill because you need to be able to identify something when it is a difference of two squares x squared minus nine is difference of two squares x plus three and x minus three the bottom two numbers times to make 15 add to make eight and um, i think of five and three but minus five and minus three because minus five take three is minus eight times them two negatives make a positive that is correct i can cancel just these and x plus three and x minus five there and you can see that's a bit different because you've got a, um, a equation where you have to factorize both top and bottom another one like that before we end our lesson x squared minus 11x plus 24 over x squared minus 7x minus 8 okay so factorize both top and bottom Okay, two numbers times to make 24, add to make 11, uh, minus 8 and minus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's correct, two negatives times to make a positive, times to make minus 8, add to make minus 7, so minus 8, add 1. What cancels? Just the mine, x minus 8, so x minus 3 at the top, and x plus 1 at the bottom. We'll do one more before we end our lesson like that. Let's have one where we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x squared plus 3x minus 10. Okay, so times to make 4 and add to make minus 4. x and x, sometimes these can be quite tricky. Um, 2, so minus 2 and minus 2, because minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4, and minus 2 take away 2 is minus 4 x and x times an add um five and two isn't it so plus five take away two and just one of them okay i don't have two x minus two so i can't cancel them just one of them and x minus two at the top and x plus five at the bottom again i cannot simplify or cannot cancel because there is no times in relationship left and that is it that was our lesson on simplifying rational expressions, also known as algebraic expressions, um, and is mainly done by factorising if you have more complicated things, or you can use laws of indices as well, like we did at the start. Thank you for watching.